much have to do for now. That's about as close as you're going to get. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's coming from the turkey in the newsroom. Yeah. Okay. Right now, we've got uh, the NFL Network now on the Imperial Valley's AM 1230 KXO, El Centro, California. I'm Steve Weissman with NFL Network now on the Westwood One Radio Network. The Thanksgiving Day clash between the Giants and Cowboys may also be an eliminator bout for the services of Odell Beckham Jr. The free agent wide receiver is expected to visit both teams after the game before deciding where to sign. And Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott says he's been making his pitch. I've won him here, and a lot of these guys in this locker room I've seen have reached out on their own and in different ways to make sure that he understands that this is a team that he can help, and we want him to come help. Elsewhere, the Panthers are hoping Sam Darnold can help their offensive woes. Carolina announced the quarterback will get his first start of the season on Sunday against Denver. And in a bit of a surprise move, the Rams waived their leading rusher this season, Daryl Henderson. The running back had started seven games for L.A., rushing for 283 yards and three touchdowns. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. The holidays are here. Achieve gifting greatness when you give the gift of perfectly aged, tender, and delicious Omaha Steaks. The steak experts at Omaha Steaks have put together special curated gift packages to help take the guesswork out of gifting and make you a holiday hero. Go to omahasteaks.com and use code SIZZLE at checkout to get $30 off your order. Send an assortment of mouth-watering favorites guaranteed to impress like the legendary butcher's cut filet mignon, air-chilled boneless chicken, ultra-juicy burgers, and even easy-to-prepare comfort meals that are ready in a flash. Omaha Steaks is ready to ship your order right away, so shop early and beat the shipping rush. Go to omahasteaks.com and use promo code SIZZLE at checkout. Omaha Steaks is a gift from the heart, a gift that'll be remembered with every unforgettable bite. Order with complete confidence today, knowing you're ordering the very best. Visit omahasteaks.com, use promo code SIZZLE at checkout to get that extra $30 off your order. Minimum order may be required. And it is a uh, Wednesday morning, 23rd day of November, 2022. Uh, we uh, mentioned Jean's in the newsroom. Good morning again. Good morning, Carol. Uh, another beautiful day in the neighborhood. And more to come. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm not going to complain. My sister is visiting uh, from Michigan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, Has she thought out yet? Uh, oh, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, good. And uh, just uh, content basically to sit on the patio and soak up the sun. That sunshine that we yeah. take for granted so much. I guess. Anyway, uh, it is uh, Thanksgiving Eve, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I heard. It, that's the way it works. Yeah. And did you realize a new study out finds that nearly 30% of American adults say, they don't like turkey. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, the vacationer online travel guide surveyed Americans and found cranberry sauce is number one on the Thanksgiving Day food dislike list. Yeah. Yeah, well, turkey is number two. <laughs> you sure maybe they didn't just get those interchanged like that just by mistake? I don't know. But on the flip side, attention. wild turkey is the most popular with the in-laws. Yeah. <laughs> just make sure to stock up on some ice cubes, okay? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a long day. I, You know, and, and okay, turkey, I can kind of take it or leave it. It's okay once a year. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you make sandwiches. Well, that's the best part of turkey. That's what somebody was saying yesterday. Yeah. The uh, sandwiches, and um, I I do like the stuffing. Or dressing. Is it dressing or stuffing? Take your pick. I suppose. It will, you know, is it tomato or tomato? Yeah, it, it pretty much all boils down to the same thing, but I'm sure there is a semanticist who would, uh, you know, set us straight on that. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good news, Jay Leno and his chin are now out of the Los Angeles Burn Hospital after about 10 days. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, in, uh, in his usual class act, uh, yeah. he has been very uh, quiet. 
Yes. And uh, no big deal. You know, he's not nothing is special. He's no, very and, humble guy. and um, what we heard was walking around the hospital cheering up the other patients. Yeah, trying out new one-liners. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Did you hear this one? Yeah. Yeah. He's got an enviable car collection, and he's very hands-on about it. Yeah. Yeah, so, that, I think that's what got him in trouble. I think so, too. Oh, well. Uh, how about some birthdays? Okay. Actor Franco Nero is 81. He was in Camelot, the movie, remember? I remember Camelot. Okay. Singer Bruce Hornsby, 68, no word on the range. On the range yeah. um, let's see. Actor Maxwell Caulfield is 63. Actor John Hinton is 62. Actor Sally Richardson Whitfield, 55. Actor Oded Fair is 52. Actor Paige Kennedy, 46. Actor Kelly Brook, 43. Actors Lucas Grabeel, 38. Oh, Miley Cyrus, she's made it to 30. Amazing. Mm. Yeah. Actor Austin Majors, 27. Actor Olivia Cavill is 20. Are you ready for the local ones? Local, please. We've got local birthdays. Let's say happy birthday to Andy Magne, Promise Martinez, Greg Bentley, Maria Campos, Roxanne Torres, Duan Hart, Gustavo Silva, Debbie Jepson, Brenda Tavizon, Claudio Garcia, Evelia Sanchez, Felipe Vega, Aaron Carter, Lola Campos, Ariana Sweet, Kathy Greck, C.J. Brown, Debbie Freer, Dennis Morita, Joan Jenks, Kim Freer, Marcy Rios, Marilyn Miles, Monica Tavares Viegas, Harley Angel DeBolt. Happy birthday from KXO. Okay. Enjoy. Is, is it janky or jank? Jenks. Jenks, okay. Yes. I always thought it was janky. Well, there, there may be a janky, but uh, this one on our list is Joan Jenks. Jenks. All yeah. right. Okay. I wonder if they know the Yanks. They <sighs> uh, Let's see. What else is going on? Um, we're about a week and two days away from the El Centro Christmas Parade, which means we're a week and one day away from the NAFL Centro Christmas Parade. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that one's at night. Yes. Well, uh, the, is the they had talked about the El Centro parade uh, switching over or back, I should say, years ago. They had it at nighttime, but I guess that didn't uh, culminate. Probably uh, insurance you know, got in the way. I don't know. I don't either. No, I don't. <laughs> Nobody ran it by me. Real early in the morning. That would be a unique one. Yeah. Okay. Um, and and um, tomorrow, what, the Macy's Thanksgiving Macy's Day Parade? Thanksgiving Parade. Yeah, yeah, they've been working on that thing forever. I suppose. And um, I don't know what the weather forecast for New York City is, but hopefully the winds will not be too bad. Well, so that, it'll be uh, uh, warmer here than it will be there. That's yeah, for sure. I have a hunch. Yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, are you ready for news? We've got a bunch of news this morning. Okay, I will tell you where um, they've got Thanksgiving dinners coming up. It's World in California News Headlines right now, brought to you by your friends in the air conditioning business. Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Lock, your year-round comfort specialist. CBS News Brief. A mass shooting at a Chesapeake, Virginia Walmart. The gunman and employee. Police Chief Mark Seleski on the victims. Six victims have died. And the suspect is dead from what we believe was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Two explosions near bus stops in Jerusalem. Our Robert Berger is there. So far, no suspects have been arrested. Uh, the Islamic militant group Hamas uh, praised the attack but stopped short of claiming responsibility. The Russian war in Ukraine has had a devastating effect on the capital, Kiev, where the entire region has no power. The water supply has now been cut off. The impact of the damage to the infrastructure is massive. It's widespread destruction, which impacts people's ability to get by day by day. It's extremely cold now, and it's only the beginning of the winter season. 
UN humanitarian coordinator Denise Brown. CBS News Brief. I'm Stacy Lynn. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 76093 L O C K E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California Headline News House Minority Leader and California Representative Kevin McCarthy outraged that the Homeland Security Secretary says the southern border is secure. We have lost the operational control of this border. It's been turned over to the cartels. McCarthy at the border in El Paso saying he doesn't think anyone would agree that the border is secure. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas made the assertion at a congressional hearing last week. McCarthy indicating if he becomes House Speaker, he may seek to have Mayorkas impeached. Doctors continuing to warn of a triple demic as cases of RSV, flu, and COVID continue to rise. Dr. Peter Chin Hong at UCSF saying cases of all three are rising, RSV hitting the hardest. They already are overwhelmed, um, and we're just talking about with mainly one, and that's RSV. So if you add uh, some of the others, like influenza and COVID, uh, you can see that you're going to run out of capacity soon. He says there's also been a 50% overall increase in COVID cases across the country, recommending mask wearing over the holiday weekend. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. For repair, for replacement, call the experts Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. From the Vault, sponsored by Food Park. After dropping out of college, country singer Chris Stapleton remembers when he found his dream job as a songwriter. I didn't even know it was a thing. I just assumed when people sang songs on records that they made it up. You know, I met somebody who was a songwriter, and it was just like, that's a job. They're going to pay you to sit in the room and make things up on guitar. I need that job. That's the job I want. Food Barn celebrates the values of honesty, hard work, ingenuity, and perseverance, proudly offering a piece of the American spirit. Food Barn, keep west. Dream now, pay never with Pluto TV. Subscriptions and fees don't exist. Showtime! With hundreds of live channels and thousands of movies on demand. All streaming free on Pluto TV. Dream now, pay never. Life is uncertain. It's okay to feel stressed, anxious, worried, or frustrated. CalHOPE can help. Access CalHOPE's free and secure mental health resources. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org. And it's page one of the local news. Page one is a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers, three locations to serve you at El Centro Motors, at the Imperial Valley Mall, and in the Brawley Auto Center. Taking a look at the latest in uh, local news for a Wednesday morning, COVID-19, we have an update the numbers are provided by the County Public Health Department. According to the new numbers, there are currently 355 active cases of COVID-19 in Imperial County. That is down slightly from 366 cases reported on Friday. There are currently 15.10 new cases per 100,000 population with an 8.2% positivity rate. There are currently 958 fatalities as a result of the virus in Imperial County. Well, the identity of the victims that died in two separate uh, Sunday afternoon crashes have been released. At about 2.30 p.m. Sunday, a three-vehicle crash on Dogwood Road, just north of Ralph Road, cl uh, claimed the life of a 26-year-old Manuel uh, Ernesto Gomez Gonzalez of Cathedral City. Gomez was the driver of a Kia Forte that was southbound on Dogwood when he crossed the center line and collided with a northbound pickup truck driven by Fernando Rostro, uh, 57, of Brawley. Another pickup truck driven by 54-year-old Araceli Asuna that was also northbound collided with uh, two other vehicles. Gomez was pronounced dead at the scene 
when Rostros and Asuna both sustained minor injuries. A 20-year-old woman from uh, Rahway, uh, New Jersey, died Sunday afternoon when the Kia Forte she was driving was struck by a pickup truck. The accident occurred at about 5.50 p.m. Sunday on eastbound Interstate 8 west of Dunaway Road. Anisha Shanti Connor was pronounced dead at the scene of the accident. The driver of the pickup truck was identified as 24-year-old Joseph Zihau of San Marco, California. Zihau was westbound on the freeway when he crossed over the center median and collided head-on with the Connor car. Zihau sustained major injuries and was flown to Desert Regional Medical Center for treatment. According to the California Highway Patrol, Zihau was placed under arrest and charged with felony driving under the influence and gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated. KXO News Time 743. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers are here for you. Lube oil and filter change, alignments, brakes, batteries, tune-ups, and so much more. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. And now, Quick Lane has three locations in the valley. In the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, at El Centro Motors, and now at the Imperial Valley Mall. Quick Lane, ready to serve. Well, if you didn't know it, uh, upcoming four-day, well, it's a holiday, George Gale explains. The uh, Thanksgiving holiday is a four-day weekend. Local, state, and federal government offices will be closed both Thursday and Friday, including the county, Imperial Irrigation District, and city offices and departments. The uh, California Highway Patrol goes into its maximum enforcement period this evening and continues through a midnight Sunday. This is the CHP holiday patrol period uh, when as many officers as possible are assigned to the roadways to ensure ensure holiday travel is as safe as possible. Highway Patrol also covers off-road areas. The uh, Thanksgiving holiday is one of the busiest off-road holidays of the year in Imperial County. Population in the sand dune recreation areas normally increase by over 100,000 over the Thanksgiving holiday period. Motorists are encouraged to obey all safety uh, traffic laws, including uh, driving under the influence and otherwise impaired or distracted driving. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. The first annual In Calexico uh, Home Decorating Contest, uh, which will be presented by the City of Calexico's Rec Department, it's coming up. It's for houses in Calexico and includes the houses and front yards only. To participate, houses must be registered with the Rec Department by Thursday, December 1st, for judging purposes, all participants are required to have their lights and decorations in operation on Monday, December the 5th at 5 p.m. Judging will be conducted by several members of the Parks, Recreation, Beautification, and Senior Services Commission. Judging will be based on creativity, decorations, and overall theme. There will be only one winner. That concludes this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two. Page one of the Local News, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. Before you head out on the road, head into Quick Lane. They service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. It's go time, San Diego. The Black Friday sell is going on now. Our best selection of new Ford inventory is here. It's go time. Now get 1.9% APR for 60 months plus 1,000 retail bonus cash on a 2022 Ford F-150, Explorer, and Escape. The lots are filling up. So that means it's go time. Go to the Black Friday sell at your San Diego County Ford dealer today. Now during the Black Friday sell get low leases on select 2022 and 2023 Ford vehicles. It's go time. Only at your San Diego County Ford dealer. Hurry in. It all ends November 28th. Not all buyers will qualify for Ford credit financing. 1.9% APR financing for 60 months at $17.48 per month for $1,000 finance regardless of down payment. Program number 21352. Not available on Raptor, Super Crew Tremor, and Super Crew Lightning. 
Residency restrictions apply. Take new retail delivery from an authorized Ford dealer stock by January 3rd, 2023. See dealer for qualifications and complete details. Page two of the local news is brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Well, we'll answer your question. Yes, there was shaking going on, a major earthquake. It was recorded uh, yesterday. George Gale filed this story. It was recorded at 8.39 uh, Tuesday morning. U.S. Geological Survey says the quake measured a magnitude 6.2. It was recorded about 138 miles south southwest of Mexicali. It was felt in Imperial County. Earthquake was centered in the uh, off the well off the coast of Baja California. There is no word on damage or injury as a result of the shaking in this area. The quake only rattled some nerves. For KXL local. News, News. I'm George Gale. Several Imperial Valley organizations will host Thanksgiving dinners on Wednesday. That's today, or that's today, the day before Thanksgiving. Salvation Army will provide a delicious Thanksgiving feast. Serving will be from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Salvation Army office. That's at 375 North 5th Street in El Centro. This will be a drive-through uh, meal service. On uh, Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, the Hacienda Scholarship Fund will host their annual Thanksgiving dinner from 11 to 1 p.m. Uh, this is also a drive through dinner served at the Hacienda Snack Bar on K Street in Brawley. The Imperial Valley LGBT Resource Center will be at the Eagles Lodge at State Street in El Centro on Thanksgiving Day from 10.30 a.m. till noon with a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, finally, it's coming up Christmas in Imperial. Here's more on that story. Both events will be held on December 9th. The parade starts at 6 p.m. that night. For those who wish to participate, late registration is still open. Applications, however, must be in by November 25th. That's this Friday. They will. They say applications will not be accepted after November 25th. The late registration fee is $40 per each entry. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. We'll be back with a look at the weather. No child in Imperial County should go hungry. This is John Levada for the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Living in a food insecure home makes it difficult for children to perform efficiently in school and to face the challenges of being a child. I urge you to help these kids donate to the food bank's backpack program. Recipients are children who rely on school meals and risk going hungry on weekends when they're away from school. The IV Food Bank Backpack Program. Donate online at ivfoodbank.org. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. The National Weather Service says after sunny skies and near normal temperatures today, a dry weather system will track across the region on Thursday. This will result in breezy conditions, while temperatures top out at around 70 degrees across the Imperial and Yuma Valleys. Tranquil weather will then prevail through the upcoming weekend, with temperatures remaining near normal. More unsettled weather is likely into next week, with a larger weather system likely moving through the region late Monday into Tuesday, bringing chances for precipitation. 73 the high yesterday, 39 our overnight low. Sunny today with a high near 75. West-southwest wind about 5 miles an hour becoming north this afternoon. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 50. Northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming north-northeast. Thanksgiving Day will be sunny with a high near 74. North wind 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. And we have 48 degrees, 32% relative humidity. Wind out of the west 7 to 10 miles an hour. Page 2 of the local news and the weather brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Become a hunger warrior. Contact the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Don't worry about a Christmas gift for the family back east because... The Peanut Patch is here. The Peanut Patch in Yuma. A great variety of gift packs that you can ship 
anywhere in the universe to your friends and loved ones. The Peanut Patch in Yuma. You'll find homemade chocolates. You'll find fresh English toffee made from scratch. Pecan turtles made from scratch. You'll love their yogurt-covered peanuts, raisins, and almonds. The Peanut Patch in Yuma. And again, they have their own post office. They will ship anywhere. The Peanut Patch in Yuma. Now, how do you get there? Well, Google the Peanut Patch in Yuma and uh, you'll get directions. It's easy and you're going to love spending some time at the Peanut Patch looking around. Find them on the web, the World Wide Web, thepeanutpatch.com. That's thepeanutpatch.com. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. NBA action, 76ers beat the Nets, 115-106. Kings uh, got by the Grizzlies, 113-109. Pistons nudged the Nuggets, 110-108. Suns beat the Lakers, 115-105. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, in uh, the World Cup action today, it's uh, Group F, Morocco and Croatia. Group E, Germany and Japan. Spain will uh, play Costa Rica and Belgium. And Canada will uh, tee it up on the pitch. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in health care and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley and, of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all of Pioneers services, visit pmhd.org today. NFL triple header tomorrow. Yeah, we'll bring you the Bills and the Lions, Giants and the Cowboys, Patriots and the Vikings. Yeah, we've got game. And speaking of football, CIF football action continues. Well, yeah. And, uh, well, Friday, Palo Verde and Fallbrook will uh, play at Escondido High School Friday night as uh, they play for the Division Four Championship. Palo Verde, the uh, defending Division Five champion. Saturday, well, Saturday night also at Escondido High School, Granite Hills and Ramona. That's in the Division Two final. Yeah, Ramona, the team that uh, eliminated uh, the Central Spartans. And also, tomorrow, the Southwest High School Turkey Shoot at Desert Trails RV Park and Golf Course. It's a fundraiser, and uh, proceeds go to the Southwest High School golf teams. Contact Desert Trails for information. And Monday, November 28th at 7 p.m., it's the Imperial Valley Senior All-Star Volleyball Game at the IVC Gym. It's free. And that's it for Sports Time, brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmht.org for more information about Pioneers. Thank you for choosing Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. In today's highly competitive business climate, your company's image is important. The printed materials your company uses conveys a major part of that image. Our graphic designers have the talent and expertise to create a lasting impression for your business. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers virtually any type of business solution to meet your needs. From business cards and stationery to computer forms, full color brochures and posters. Let our excellent service and attention to detail provide the best impression for you. Locally owned and operated, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services offering 24-hour day post office boxes at Southwest Postal, 4th and Heil, El Centro. First time weekly claims for unemployment benefits jumped to 20, uh, rather 240,000 for the uh, week just ended. 
It's the highest weekly total since August 13th, according to Labor Department data. Continuing claims, which count people who have filed for jobless aid for at least two weeks in a row, rose to 1.55 million for the week ending November 12th, notching an eight-month high. Meanwhile, HP Incorporated announced yesterday it will lay off thousands of workers over the next three years, becoming the latest tech company to significantly downsize staffing amid a souring economic climate. The uh, announcement by HP says uh, the company expects to reduce global headcount by approximately 4,000 to 6,000 employees. These actions are expected to be completed by the end of fiscal 2025. Right now, we're looking at green on the big board, Dow up 76 points, S&P 500 up 22, and the NASDAQ up 118 points as well. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been providing private security locally for more than 20 years and have owned Southwest Security for more than six and a half years. I'm proud to announce that we have over 250 employees working here in Imperial and Coachella Valley. Last year, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. P.O. Box service to you. Also located at Southwest Security at the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. If you're in the need for security services, please call us at Southwest Security at 760-970-4500. That's 970 970- 4,500. We'll have sunny skies today with a high near 75. West-southwest wind about 5 miles an hour becoming north this afternoon. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 50. Northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming north-northeast in the evening. Thanksgiving Day will be sunny with a high near 74. North wind 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. 49 degrees, 30% relative humidity. Financial news brought to you by Southwest Security Service. At Burgers and Beer, our customers are like family. Let's hear what a few of them have to say about us. They have great weekday specials. I like the friendly environment, the friendly staff, the cold beer, and the best weeks in town. Burgers and Beer, what I like about Burgers and Beer, the menu, everything on the menu is great. I'm working my way through the menu. My favorite thing right now is the grilled tuna chipotle sandwich. That's what I had yesterday, and it was delicious. So come and see us and find out for yourself at Burgers and Beer. KXO El Centro, California. It's 8 o'clock. CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by... I'm Deborah Rodriguez. A mass shooting at a busy Walmart in Virginia last night is coming into clearer focus. Witnesses say the gunman was a store manager who opened fire in a break room. Chesapeake Police Chief Mark Seleski. Six victims have died. Four are in area hospitals with conditions unknown at this time. And the suspect is dead from what we believe was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The chief says an investigation is underway. The Chesapeake Police SWAT team executed a search warrant at the suspect's residence. And with the help of the Virginia State Police, we cleared the house. We have reason to believe that there's no risk to the public at this time. About 50 million Americans are jamming the road to Thanksgiving dinner right now. CBS's Chris Van Cleve along for the ride. Miles of brake lights in Los Angeles. It's exactly the kind of backup Kevin Rigotti is hoping to avoid on his drive from D.C. to New Jersey. Usually brutal trying to get all the way up. So I'd rather just do that today. While the average price of gas has dropped 14 cents in the last week at 360 a gallon, it's still the highest Thanksgiving at the pumps since trip AAA started keeping track. Extremely high, just to fill up my tank. So I'm not traveling, I'm staying local this year. Overseas, twin blasts in Jerusalem have killed a Canadian Israeli teenager and injured at least 18. Correspondent Robert Berger is there. It happened uh, around 7 a.m. this morning during morning rush hour. First a blast at a bus stop, and then a half an hour later at a different bus stop. It, it was a terrifying morning for Israel. Israeli commuters. Israeli police blame the explosions on Palestinians. In Ukraine, the mayor of Kiev says at least three people have been killed in Russian airstrikes.
strikes today, including a 17-year-old girl. He says the strikes have knocked out power to the entire city. The U.N.'s humanitarian coordinator, Denise Brown. The impact of the damage to the infrastructure is massive. It's widespread destruction, which impacts people's ability to get by day by day. Large portions of neighboring Moldova are also in the dark. Food prices have gotten so high, some people are skipping the turkey tomorrow. Original stuffed crust, just twelve ninety nine. A new poll oh. finds 33% of millennials and Gen Zers are planning to opt for pizza instead. About half tell a personal capital online survey they're stressed out over Thanksgiving costs. Only about 39% of baby boomers say the same thing. The cost of groceries shot up more than 12% in October compared to the same month last year. The Dow is up 74 points. S&P ahead 22. This is CBS News. This hour's newscast is presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you need cash out of your home and a simple way to get it, Rocket can. Hi there, I'm your host, Dog, filling in for the human who's normally here and bringing you the smells and sounds of the holidays, courtesy of Beggin' Dog Treats. We wish you a Beggin' Christmas. We wish you a Beggin' Christmas. Oh, Christy, Mary, Doberman, let Beggin' you acquire. Deck the halls with strips of Beggin'. Remember, for bacon-loving dog excitement this holiday, it's Beggin'! Dell's Black Friday event has arrived with select deals on top tech to power any passion. The savings start now with up to $400 off on select XPS and Alienware PCs powered by 12th gen Intel Core processors. Don't forget, special pricing on the latest monitors, docks, and accessories, including free shipping on everything. Just call 877-ASK-DELL for Black Friday deals. That's 877-ASK-DELL. <laughs> A new setback for Scotland in its bid to leave the UK. The UK Supreme Court has ruled that Scotland does not have the power to hold a referendum on independence without the consent of the British government. Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, said she would respect the ruling, but her Nationalist Party will continue to fight for independence. As of today, democracy is what is at stake. A 2014 referendum was defeated, but that was before Brexit, and many Scots then worried the economy would suffer because leaving Leaving the UK would have meant also leaving the EU. Elaine Cobb, CBS News. A high-end fashion designer admits to a big oops. Balenciaga's ads feature chic models in stark settings, but the new campaign for its spring-summer 2023 collection caused a stir after featuring two little girls posing with teddy bear pocketbooks that appeared to be embellished with S&M-style harnesses. The company's taken them down. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. Present to you with this year's Choice YouTuber Award. Carol Buckley. Prepare to get rocked. <laughs> that was unbelievable. <laughs> AM 1230 KXO. 1230 KXO.